What's up, Conway? Welcome to WTGR. It's Thursday, February 7th, and I'm Ryan here with your news for the day. Tomorrow during 4th Block, we'll be having a pep rally for winter sports. This is our second pep rally of the year. If you need extra tutoring, you can go to the mini auditorium every morning from 7.45 to 8.05. The Future Educators Association will be having an emergency meeting on Monday, February 11th in room B206. Members are reminded that they are only allowed to miss two meetings. In local news, Adam Alexander McDaniel, 24, was arrested in Myrtle Beach Monday for a second charge of domestic violence. Witnesses say he was in an argument with a woman who he has been in a relationship with on and off and shares a child with. The two were reportedly arguing over a cell phone and a motel room key when McDaniel tried to pick her up and carry her away. Police had been notified of the argument and shortly after McDaniel tried to pick the victim up, he was taken into custody. In national news, a 17-year-old mentally challenged child was discovered chained to a steel pole in a Missouri family's basement Wednesday and had been there since September. The victim's older brother said the incident stemmed from when the victim hit his mother and was placed on quote-unquote permanent house arrest. The victim was reportedly unchained three times a day to use the bathroom and was fed only oatmeal and ramen noodles. According to reports, the child's face was sunken in and he looked malnourished. He was later taken to a local hospital, and his two-year-old brother was placed under state custody. Other families in the neighborhood said they would sometimes see the child lying outside on the porch because the family would not let him in the house. Some details are still being withheld, as is state law. However, the parents of the child have not yet been charged with anything. Options for the new game piece included a diamond ring, a robot, a helicopter, a guitar, and a cat. The results of the voting were announced yesterday. The iron game piece is out, and it's going to be replaced with the cat. And finally, the votes are in for Hasbro's Monopoly game pieces. America had to vote which game piece would be retired and which game piece would replace it. That's all I've got for your news today, Conway. Now let's go to Michael with your club and guidance announcements. Avid. The Avid Club is sponsoring a Jeans for Teens for teens drive through February 15th. You may bring your donations to Miss Gibbs' room, or you may drop them off in the designated bin just inside the front office door. Beta Club. The CHS Beta Club is now registered for the Conway Relay of Life event. The event will begin at 7 p.m. on Friday, April 26th at the Riverwalk in downtown Conway. February meetings have been canceled. Delta Gyms. There will be a meeting on February 12th at 3.30 p.m. FCA. Meetings every Wednesday morning at 7.45 in Ms. Spearman's room. Everyone is welcome. Key Club. The next meeting will be February 19th. Mandatory for all members to turn in pancake money and sign up for work shifts. Social Studies Honor Society. On February 19th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., members will be documenting cemeteries. There will be a sign-up sheet on Ms. Calhoun's door, or you can respond on Edmodo if you plan to attend. Scholarships. See Ms. Gage and guidance for more information on scholarships and financial information. There are over 20 scholarships listed in guidance and on the Conway High School website. That's all. Now to sports. Hey Conway, I'm Reggie here for your sports for today. Yesterday was an exciting National College Football Signing Day at Conway High School. Congratulations again to Michael Moody, Jaquel Crossland, and Malcolm Green. Signing Day was a huge media event yesterday across the nation. The Ole Miss Rebels were the talk of the nation on signing day after landing the nation's number one player, Robert Kendichi, first thing Wednesday morning. Overall, it was no surprise Alabama ranked number one in recruiting, followed by Ohio State at number two, Florida at number three, Michigan at number four, Notre Dame at number five, and Ole Miss at number six. Now let's take a look at the Tiger scoreboard and sports lineup. Thursday, varsity softball scrimmage versus Georgetown at 5.30 p.m. Thursday, Conway Junior Varsity versus Carolina Forest, 6 o'clock at Carolina Forest. Friday, Conway Varsity Basketball will be taking on Carolina Forest at home at 6 o'clock p.m. Saturday, Varsity Baseball Scrimmage versus Myrtle Beach at 4 o'clock p.m. Good morning, Conway. I'm Taylor with your weather. Today will be a slight bit warmer as we move into the evening. We will be seeing periods of scattered storms towards the afternoon. Expect heavy rains. Tonight the rain will continue and there is possibility some areas will see up to 2 inches. This should end around midnight. Make sure to listen for any possible sports cancellations. Tomorrow will be partly sunny with isolated showers in the morning with winds towards the afternoon. The high is 62 while the low will stay around 38. That's all for your weather, Conway. Now back to Ryan. Thanks for the weather report, Taylor. Now let's go to our feature of the day. 
February is a month the American Heart Association uses to raise awareness for heart disease. The American Heart Association is a nonprofit organization and their mission is to build healthier lives, free of cardiovascular disease and stroke. Their motto is learn to live. Conway High needs to learn to live and to be aware of heart disease now so we can dodge heart disease in our adulthood. And learning to live, you need to know your family's history of heart disease. Do you know yours, Conway High? My grandma, she suffered from heart disease. My cousin, Anthony, had a heart disease and he died from a heart attack. My Patricia, she suffered from a heart disease three years ago and she died. As you can see, there are many people affected by heart disease. About 600,000 people die each year of heart disease in America. That is one in every four deaths. Someone dies every 37 seconds from some sort of cardiovascular disease. This is crazy when heart disease can be controlled and sometimes prevented. Studies show today that teenagers have a higher risk of having or developing a cardiovascular disease than previous decades. There are ways that we can help prevent heart disease for ourselves. Here is Conway High's nurse for some facts and tips. Um, for anyone who has a history of heart disease in their family, you need to be aware, always be aware of your family history, um, know who has what problems. It doesn't mean that you, you are going to have a problem, but it just means you are at greater risk for developing heart problems. We do not see a lot of heart disease in younger people per se. What we are seeing is that younger people are not living a healthy lifestyle to prevent the heart disease. A lot of heart disease can be prevented. Some of it is hereditary and you can't prevent it, but you can help control it. A lot of different things can be prevented if, if you look at your lifestyle now and try to live a healthy lifestyle. Well, Conway, we need to start now on trying to stop heart disease in our generation. Take it to heart, Conway High. Get to work, be healthier, and learn to live. Well, that's all we've got for WTGR. This is Ryan signing out. You can't take